Why did the fire on Maui spread so quickly? Possible causes include drought, invasive species, and climate change. Hawaii. At least six people were killed and at least 24 more were injured when a wildfire ripped through the center of Maui on Wednesday with alarming speed and severity. Panicked locals were forced to jump into the water to escape the flames. Mahina Martin, a representative for the county of Maui, said by phone early on Wednesday that there was extensive fire damage across Lahaina town, especially on Front Street, a well-known street for dining and shopping. Photos that were provided by the county overnight showed a line of flame scorching across an intersection and jumping above buildings in the National Register of Historic Places listed town center that date to the 1700s. After morning, aerial footage showed entire buildings blocks turned to ash and dense smoke filling the sky. Hours before all roads into and out of West Maui's largest settlement were closed to everyone but emergency workers, the county tweeted, do not go to Lahaina town. More than 2,100 individuals slept the night in shelters. Crews on Maui were battling numerous fires centered in two locations, the popular tourist area of West Maui and an interior mountainous area. Residents in West Maui were instructed to phone the police department directly because 911 service was not available. According to the National Weather Service, winds topping 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour that took out electricity shook homes and grounded firefighting helicopters were partially caused by hurricane dora which was passing safely 500 miles 805 kilometers to the south of the island chain as the gusty winds wednesday slightly abated aircraft started flying again according to a statement from the county the coast guard on tuesday saved 14 individuals including two children who had run into the ocean to get away from the fire and smoke conditions. Six individuals were died in fires on the island of Maui, County of Maui Mayor Richard Bisson Jr. announced at a news conference on Wednesday. He said that he had just heard the news and was unaware of the specifics around how or where on the island the fatalities took place. Speedy Bailey, Regional Director for Hawaii Life Flight, an air ambulance service, reported that six patients were transported from the island of Maui to the island of Oahu on Tuesday night. According to him, three of them were transferred to the burn unit at Straub Medical Center because they had critical burns. The others were transported to other hospitals in Honolulu. According to him, at least 20 victims were transported to Maui Memorial Medical Center. He was unaware of any fatalities. A Maui firefighter was hospitalized with a stable condition after breathing smoke, according to early reports from the authorities on Wednesday. On behalf of the absent Governor Josh Green, acting Governor Sylvia Luke declared an emergency and called on the Hawaii National Guard to help. According to Martin, no deaths were reported to the authorities. There is no information available regarding the number of evacuated residents or burned out buildings, but Martin claimed that four shelters were open and could hold up to 1,000 people. Martin remarked that the situation was so unprecedented, noting that various districts were impacted. She claimed that experiencing an emergency at night is terrifying because it is difficult to determine the depth of the harm. There was minimal damage to any homes, according to Big Island Mayor Mitch Roth, who told Hawaii News Now that a few fires were still burning on the island on Wednesday. Hawaii's fires differ significantly from many of those raging in the American West. They are often much smaller than flames on the mainland and tend to start in expansive grasslands on the drier edges of the islands. Before people came, fires were uncommon in Hawaii and on other tropical islands, and native ecosystems evolved without them. This means that when flames start, significant environmental harm may result. For instance, Fires destroy plant life. Heavy rains that come after a fire may wash loose soil into the water, smothering coral reefs there. In 2021, a large fire on the Big Island destroyed homes and led to the evacuation of thousands of people. According to Adam Weintraub, the Director of Communications for the Hawaii Emergency Management Agency, power outages, down power lines, and traffic issues were also present on the island of Oahu where Honolulu is situated. 
Although Lawrence said that Lahaina is frequently dismissed as primarily a tourist destination on Maui, we have a very strong Hawaiian community. I'm simply devastated. Our memories are everywhere, she remarked. Homes for everyone. In the past 12 hours, everyone's lives have tragically changed.